he was properly warned of his right to counsel, uh, or maybe it was more informal than that. Well, I know that in the Christian Brando case, there was a motion about the Miranda rights that was successful. And so I'm sure that um, Bob and Jerry Ullman, who were together on that case, are looking at that in this case. Every criminal defense lawyer will look at every avenue. But that statement, as I think it was Iris said, I'm not sure, might be something that's helpful. It has to be examined carefully in light of the facts as they develop to see whether it's helpful or whether it's something that the defense wants to keep out of it. You're in Los Angeles. Here in New York, uh, we five uh, attorneys uh, were asking ourselves if the prosecution came to you right now and said, I'd give you the reduced charge of manslaughter. And I'm doing that. You're the, you're the attorney, and I just, I'm uh, the prosecutor, and I said, I'll give you a reduced charge of manslaughter. You're out in seven years. Would you take it right now? Um, I don't know the evidence, but I always tell my clients that if they can get out and there's a chance of getting convicted, maybe they should think about it and go for it. Um, where there's life, there's hope, as people say. If the evidence is overwhelming and if it could be that he could be in jail for an LWOP or life without possibility of parole, that might be something he wants to consider. But I have not seen any evidence in this case, so I can't decide that. Well, obviously, no one has seen any evidence, truly. All we have are police sources. And uh, I, I'll say again, the L.A. Times, the lead reporter, Associate Press also, uh, the uh, L.A. Daily News, I have not seen, aside for the bloody ski mask, where they have been pointed out as being uh, wrong in the reports that they've carried. I've never heard that. LWAP. That's uh, life, life without, without, without parole. parole. Now I've learned something. But too. you know that. <laughs> oh, wait, got to take a break. LA Law continues. Simpson, the latest. This is CNB. Just reaching the front line is a hazardous exercise. Boris Yeltsin's troops are firing as they advance. Only the work is not just dangerous but gruesome. Whether there is to be an eventual assault from the sea is something we don't know. This is the wall the East Germans themselves built. The first people that we met were some resistance fighters who were absolutely thrilled. I saw hundreds of men rush forward along the decks. We were not prepared for what we saw and heard there. In this civil war, there is no sense. This was the moment the world paused to applaud. What a moment. On you in five seconds. IGN World News. Our world is your world. For a copy of Rivera Live, please send $5 for a transcript or $19.95 plus $3.50 shipping and handling for a videotape to Burrell's, P.O. Box 7, Livingston, New Jersey, 07039. For credit card orders, please call 1-800-777-8398.
From the latest on the question of whether or not he could get a fair trial, uh, the question was asked by USA Today and CNN and the Gallup organization, are the charges against the Odre, OJ, you characterize them, are they definitely true, uh, probably true, probably not true, or not true? Okay, definitely true, 10%. Probably true, 56%. Probably not true, 13%. Not true, 16%. 16%, don't you think very no, 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 a good place to start? means nothing. <laughs> People go into a jury, they watch the evidence, they hear the judge charge them, they make a determination upon what they see in front of them, if they're fair, honorable jurors. Probably basically is a that's reasonable what happened. doubt. I mean, a, reasonable a, doubt. A court will tell you if all you think is probably, that's not enough. It's okay. got to be beyond a reasonable doubt. So, right so now, he gets acquitted right even now. Even with the avalanche of publicity, absolutely. 90 percent of the people give him a, a reasonable doubt. Uh, absolutely. You know, none of these people saw this woman with a head cut off, which the jury is going to see, and then that's certainly going to poison the atmosphere at some point. There's but also the poison. defense can bring yes. in her promiscuity, alleged or whatever. No, no. Oh, yeah, that uh, could backfire, though. Yeah, I you don't have think a woman with missing wise. heads and chopped to pieces. That's that could backfire. You said something about the letter that was. Yeah, you know the question nobody asked if he didn't do it. What was he committing suicide for? What did he write this letter for? Uh, he's unhappy. He has plenty of time to be unhappy. Well, don't kill was yourself. A, but there was a reason for it. O.J. Simpson, the height of heights. Yes. Handcuffed, unhandcuffed statements being vilified by the press. Here's a man who looked at his life and said it was coming to a close. He would never come away from the scandal. I understand suicide. Why? Plus the fact he lost someone that he loved. He ran on a football field where monsters were jumping all over him. He beat up a wife and he's going to be frightened because some people said bad things about him to the degree he's going to kill himself and leave his children behind. Psychological. He was kill himself probably, which we all know because he out of consciousness of his guilt, he thought they were closing on him and he killed himself. That's the only, and said he's going to kill himself. That's the only logical reason why anybody would do it. There is Let's no start. logic. There Let's is no crazy. logic to O.J. Simpson's Janet Levine, mind. Janet Um, I don't think that the fact that he would kill himself or would threaten to kill himself is evidence of guilt. It could be evidence of extreme sorrow. He loved this woman. At least that's what the press accounts say, regardless of their stormy relationship. And she was gone. And a lot of people who lose their loved ones feel that way. And he's chased at all sides. He loses someone he loves, and at the same time, he's being vilified In the press, the prosecution is after him. He's been handcuffed. He's lost all of the respect he's had from all the people around him, and he sees no place to go. And go that's, that's what that's he your, sees as an alternative. Aren't you shocked that his, uh, his popularity or his adoration is proving so resilient? I don't think I can be shocked anymore at what happens. I mean, it's amazing what the public thinks about people based on what they see in the press. And there are opinions of people that are athletes or actors, um, politicians or whatever. Um, people decide things based on their perceptions, in large part based on little bites in the media and that's what he's being judged on you know years uh, and years of being a usc trojan and a buffalo bill and in the naked gun series and he's won the hearts and it's hard to take that kind of adoration he has away from him i guess he didn't realize it i doubt his lawyers realized it until that kind of drive through los angeles and orange county on that friday with all the people cheering him on that's right, with all sense. the people cheering him on. Uh, Janet Levine, we're going to lose the satellite to Los Angeles. If you do get a pick to the defense team, call us first. I will. All thank right. you very much. Bye. Thank you very Goodbye. much. Goodbye. Monica from Virginia, you're on the air. Um, hi, Geraldo. Hi. I really enjoy your program. Thank you. But the one thing I wanted to say is I agree with Janet. I just moved back from California to Virginia, and I lived in Marina del Rey. And there was, I had a hard time making that 11.45 flight when I would leave at 11 o'clock. There is no way he could make it from Brentwood to there. Oh, I've I just made disagree. That trip. I've made that trip a hundred times, and I've made it in, uh, in 15, 20 minutes. Then, then I tell you, the getting through the airport... Uh, may have been his severest challenge. Another Hillary point. from if Connecticut. You watch your step, you're going to get subpoenaed. Um, I'm yeah. going to get subpoenaed to try. Okay. <laughs> Hillary from Connecticut. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, my question is, if the defense goes for a not guilty plea and things don't look good midway through the trial, can the defense switch to a plea of insanity? 
Very slightly. Well, you know, of course they can, but the problem is if you stand up to a jury and you say, this man wasn't there, he couldn't have done it, and then suddenly you've got to switch gears and say, by the way, he was there, he did do it, but he wasn't responsible because of mental defect, uh, it's a problem for the jury and it just doesn't work. So what do you do? Then forward. you just have to put all your stock in appealing some procedural error. No, you've got to put all your stock in the right defense and not switch gears. You know, I think that uh, many people would want to do something for him. He is idolized. He is loved. And I think that if people thought that he was acting under extreme emotional disturbance, no matter when they had that put to them, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would be very sympathetic for him. Nobody lives the kind of life that he did and does something like this without something You're saying that going a juror, berserk. I'm saying a, a juror, juror might. I'm saying a juror. So a juror might say, okay, we convict him on the lesser and include a charge of manslaughter. Absolutely. Okay. Which, is, uh, which, saves his, which saves his life. Ira, your last... Okay, let's talk about that quickly. Death penalty, final thoughts. We've got a minute and a half to go. Ira London. I don't, I don't think there's any possibility of him getting the death penalty from a jury. Even I don't even think murder. Garcetti is going to go for it. But you know as many mistakes as Garcetti made, I think it's a mistake for him. Black men get, uh, get sentenced to death all the time for killing white women. And it's really, you know, now you see. Because I, don't, everybody I don't mean to say this disrespectfully in any way, ladies and gentlemen, but in most ways, uh, just as I am not perceived as a Puerto Rican man by most people who watch me over the years, O.J. Simpson is not perceived as a black man. Yeah, I'm Geraldo, he's O.J. It's yeah, like it. Sony is not a Japanese yeah, company, absolutely. it's Sony. But that's my point. The point is, is that if, if somebody like this would get sentenced to death, I think the death penalty would end in America because they would see, you know, the sympathy, the, the humanness of this man. And the death penalty is outrageous because they're a okay, faceless separate people. Separate show. If Garcetti 30 seconds each, wants guys. a conviction, if Garcetti wants a conviction, he is not going to ask for the death penalty. If he does, he will turn off the jurors. Well, the, the only attractive thing about all this is what you say, Harold, there's no racial overtones or, or connotations about this. It's very Except good, Except on I the think. Time magazine cover. But oh, but uh, yeah, we know, we, that was serious. But the, that's for the best. Uh, that. The chances of him getting the death sentence are the same as you and I getting a rocket ship or going to the moon. It ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Okay, Dominic Barbara, the uh, noted attorney uh, who represented uh, uh, Joey Buttafuoco and Jessica Hahn is on the phone, but Dominic, I have no time to talk to you tonight. I just wanted called. to comment that I did... You got 20 seconds. Lawyer. Go ahead, Dominic. I found a lawyer in Queens who hasn't been interviewed yet about this. <laughs> is there anyone left? <laughs> and I predict in the future the lawyers in California are all going to be fighting each other. Fighting each other. Well, yeah. maybe they'll, people could do it on pay-per-view and uh, get a, a ratings uh, record out of it. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We on, uh, on Rivera Live here at CNBC will continue to follow developments in this case as they warrant. We'll give you a total wrap-up on that, the schedule of that preliminary hearing. Tom Snyder is next. Thank you, my guests. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Next.